Okay, going on with the, uh, the policy, we've talked about some documents and one of the documents that, types of documents that we talked about was uh, the guidelines and there are a number of guidelines, uh, well, generally lumped under the, the classification, I suppose, of security frameworks and uh, these come in a number of sizes and shapes and origins um, some of them are government uh, requirements uh, some of them are industry standards shall we say um, some of them are checklists um, there's a whole bunch and I have in fact an entire presentation which is growing larger over the years of the entire alphabet soup of all of these uh, different types of security frameworks because there are almost as many types as there are actual security frameworks um, these uh, I, I mean initially uh, an awful lot of them started out to provide for some kind of assistance with system evaluation that you had to have uh, well in, in a sense I suppose standards but you know you, you wanted to compare apples with apples and oranges with oranges um, in in terms of evaluating a standard when you said that a computer system was secure what did that actually mean uh, and so how uh, uh, you know, what kinds of uh, processes, what kinds of, of uh, guidelines, metrics uh, were you going to put together uh, to evaluate systems? And, and uh, the famous uh, rainbow series of, of standards, and, and particularly the orange book, in terms of uh, security evaluations uh, came out of that environment leading to uh, things like the, the common criteria um, so in in order to uh, assess and assume uh, what we're we're doing with all of these um, I'm not going to be able in less than 10 minutes to even list all of them uh, but just um, trying to get uh, an idea of what they are and what some of the, the more common, the more basic, the more widely used uh, standards are that we have here. So we got Sir Benis Oxley. That's an American law. Um, and it basically says, okay, you know, you've got to uh, ensure that a computer is secure or a computer system is secured to the appropriate level well you know what's the appropriate level you know there you get into all kinds of additional background documents and uh, uh, the uh, National uh, Standards Institute in the United States has has a whole raft the, the 800 documents for the most part um, describing what uh, that means for, for particular systems or how to uh, secure, sometimes in, in a very, very useful detail. Uh, so uh, a, lot of, a lot of those uh, come out of the you know, need for, for that uh, from that you know, law in the United States. Uh, then there's COSO. COSO is really um, you could be oh, very cynical about the origins of it. The uh, COSO stands for the Committee of Sponsoring Organizations of the uh, Treadway, I think it is, Commission. Um, and uh, this uh, resulted from uh, one of the big financial breakdowns in the United States, and the financial institutions wanted to... Um, tell people that uh, playing in the stock market was safe. Uh, in other words, they wanted to lie to people. But uh, 
you know, it, it did uh, provide this tool um, uh, that allowed for a, a really very decent breakdown of your business into smaller, more manageable chunks so that you could start to secure the individual pieces and, and therefore make the entire organization more secure. Um, the financial uh, industry uh, has a, a lot of other things. The, the Basel uh, commissions and their standards, um, that particularly in terms of, of uh, risk management, of course, um, when you're dealing with uh, the financial institutions, their idea of risk management is mostly capital risk, and we have to be sure that we're you know, covering what they tend to refer to as operational risk, which is what we tend to think of as the entirety of risk management. Uh, we should probably think more of uh, capital risk, and they should probably think more of the operational risk. Anyway, uh, so the Basel standards are, are in there. Uh, COBIT, um, from uh, ISACA and their, uh, uh, their standard, um, this of course is for auditing, um, and it's, you know, that's a, a good idea at any time, uh, making sure that you have uh, your auditing done properly so that you know what you're doing, you can say whether or not you are secure. Um, Interestingly, though, it says very little about actual technology. It's more about what can you prove. Uh, Zachman, the Zachman framework uh, for business analysis and SABSA that came out of it, um, they provide a, a good framework for, again, sort of breaking down the business into more manageable chunks so that you can do your uh, analysis of what you need to do in security. Um, the, uh, uh, the various maturity models, very interesting, uh, the steps that they go through, um, and the interesting, most interesting thing that I find about the maturity models is um, not so much that they provide guidance, but that they warn you, don't go more than one step at a time. Octave, in terms of risk management, um, PCI DSS, the, the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, um, very much uh, a sort of a checklist of what you need to do. Um, and the, uh, the ISO 27000 standards, a whole family of standards uh, there for, for different areas. Now, um, we come back again to the common criteria and the common criteria, um, again, this is where we get our uh, real breakdown in terms of the functional requirements and assurance requirements because it goes into that. Not only what we are um, securing, but how do we know that we have in fact done the proper job and, and that it is secure. But there's an awful lot of defining that you have to do if you are going to use the common criteria. So um, it's, it's not so much complete guidance there as your ability uh, to define, uh, to specify, and to assess whether or not you are actually doing a good job in, in regard to security. So I, I, like I say, whole alphabet soup in security frameworks um, and just you know be aware of them uh, know um, what it is uh, that you need to follow and how it's going to help you and what shortcomings it has you may need to prop up with some other security framework